This is a quick heads up that my zombies posters and t-shirts are back for a limited time. You can pick one up for yourself via the link in the description down below. Hi guys, this is not Mr. Raffle Waffles. This is his friend Joe, better known as Conway22 on the internet. And today I'm helping out Milo with this easy guide on how to get the golden pack a bunch and how to find all the other pack a bunch locations. So the only thing different about this video is going to be the voice. The rest is going to be the same good old Milo easy guide. So starting off, you're going to have to open the actual pack a punch machine and you could do that by turning on the power in two different places on the map and by picking up the blue rock. The first one's right here in the spawn. So the next power location is actually at the top of the ship. It's the same thing as the old Call of the Dead power location. However, if you don't know where that is, you can follow my path right here. There's multiple ways to get there, but this is the path that I chose in my game. So once you get the power on, you might as well start doing the steps for the golden pack a punch. So drop down right here and you can pick up this gearbox on the ground. Once again, that's the step for the golden pack a punch, not the normal pack a punch. Now, if you follow me here, open up this barricade where the old double tap is. You're going to have to find a crank on the ground. First location would be here on the right. And then if you turn around and go to your left, it should be leaning up against that box. Just out here, the last location will be leaning up against this wall. Now that you have the crank, go back up towards the power location and place the crank here. Now what you're gonna do is rotate the zip line into position, like I'm doing right here. Once again, this is a step for the golden pack-a-punch that you might as well do while opening the normal pack-a-punch. Now if you follow where I go here, you're gonna go to the back of the ship, to the main deck, and you're gonna run forwards until you get to the forecastle part of the ship. Now if you look to the right, there should be another crank location here, like in my game. You can find another crank location up here on the left, turn around, go back in the direction of the lighthouse, you can find another crank location just against this wall. Once you have that crank, take it over to the same box that we did before to rotate the zipline into position like I'm doing in my game. Okay, so now that we've done that, we might as well go and open up the regular pack-a-punch. So, you're gonna need to find a blue rock, which the first one's located just here on the left side of the wall, or around the bend, and here on the wall. In my game, the blue rock was just located right here. What you need to do is shoot, melee, or throw a snowball at the rock, it doesn't really matter, and pick it up. Now go into the lighthouse, go all the way to the top, and talk to the hermit. He will drop down his platform and allow you to place the blue rock on it. Now, after he gets the blue rock back, Pack-a-Punch will be unlocked. So, you can look at the blue light from the lighthouse and you'll see a pack a punch location. Here's another location that I got in another game. To get to that location in my game, just follow this path into the bottom of the ship to the artifact storage area. Now, there's gonna be fire on the ground that does not allow you to get to the pack a punch, so you're gonna have to shoot above it and drop a water supply right onto the fire. Now you can go up to the pack a punch and use it. Now be aware, the pack a punch will move every three minutes or so, maybe a few rounds. So when it does move, the lighthouse will pick a new location and you can follow that blue light to the next location. If you go down the ice slide and continue to near the spawn area, it's just right there on top of some ice. Now another location would be through the spawn area and through that little side door, and it's just right there. And the last location is in the old Call of the Dead spawn area, which is located in between the big ship and the lighthouse. Okay, so that's all the pack a bunch locations, and now you would have to go back all the way at the top of the lighthouse, place the gearbox that you picked up earlier, and the hermit will repair your gearbox. Now if you've rotated the zip lines into position as well, he's gonna give you a zip line handle. With this, I can get up that mountain. And as Marlton says, you can get up to that mountain. So go up and go through the facility entrance after getting off the zip line and follow my path here. Once you do this, you'll find the third power switch which will activate the golden pack-a-punch. So two power switches on the on the main map activate the first pack-a-punch. Third power switch located in the facility will activate the golden pack-a-punch. So in order to get the golden pack-a-punch, you gotta activate the normal pack-a-punch, which is why I had that in this tutorial. Now going back to the ship, you can go and place the gearbox back down where you picked it up. You can use that lift at the top. What's the name for it, chat? I don't know. Whatever, the bouncy pad. You can use the bouncy pad to get to the golden pack-a-punch. Now, you can enjoy getting fully upgraded pack-a-punch weapons for only 5,000 points. Which means that you'll have the max damage boost and whatnot with your pack-a-punch weapons. If you found this guide helpful, please let me know with a like on the video. And stick around for more videos in the future from Milo. Thank you for watching. Science without ethics yields these things right here.